Hi folks, it's Wendy here. I have a cold, so I'm going to try to get through this. Hope that you can understand my voice. It is okay. I have a cold. I don't know if you even heard any of that. It is Tuesday, February 25th, 2020, and we're in Second Chronicles chapter 4. So Solomon and his people worked on the inside of the temple, and it goes into detail. There's a lot I don't understand, but I know they did build um, pools of water to wash the animals in before they sacrificed them to God. All right, now skip forward to the New Testament, Acts chapter 18. Paul went to Corinth and abode with Aquila and Priscilla. Then Silas and Timothy came, and they all preached Jesus. Now, Justus and Crispus believed in Jesus, and many of the Corinthians believed also and were baptized. So Paul stayed there in Corinth. Um, he had a vision or like a dream or something where God told him, you know, you can stay in Corinth. I have a lot of people there. And um, so he stayed for a year and six months teaching the word of God. When then um, this guy named Gal Galio, Galio, he was deputy of Achaia, and the Jews were against Paul, but Galio, Galio, whatever, however you pronounce that, drove them from the judgment seat. Um, then the Greeks beat Sosthenes, the chief ruler of the synagogue. Okay. Then Paul sailed into Syria, and with him Aquila and Priscilla. But Paul left them in Ephesus, and then he went through Caesarea, Antioch, Galatia, and um, Phrygia. And then... Aquila and Priscilla joined him there and taught a Jew named Apollos more about God. Um, and, okay, that's it for the New Testament. And then, um, with, for my U version, I'm still on Claim Your Crown by Tara Lynn St. Eileen. She says that God gives us grace, which is God's goodness and kindness to us, though we don't deserve it. So, think about that today. Um, that He is so merciful and gracious to us, and we don't deserve it, but He loves us so much, He gives it to us anyway. Um, shoot me any prayer requests. I love you guys, and um, I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.